Another way we preserve our food is through drying, because if you don't have enough water, the microorganisms can't grow. Mm -hmm. And so this is one of the most popular items in on the menu. It's from cocktails. Mm -hmm. um, what's fun about this is you've got the dehydrated or the freeze-dried shrimp here and the cocktail sauce on the back. Mm -hmm. um, this process is um, where we freeze the food and then pull a vacuum. And by pulling the vacuum, you actually take the ice crystals and they go directly from ice to gas. And so the cell, cell, sorry, cellular structure stays the same. We'll top the braces on. And um, the hydration is easier and quicker and the quality is much higher. Mm -hmm. So um, when they are, when they in, add the water, they add it through here. This is a one-way valve. So the needle can go in, add the water, they can pull the needle out, and this won't uh, leak. Mm -hmm. When they do add the water, this vacuum that we've pulled will be released, and they'll get basically a bowl, and you'll see that when you try some of the food. Um, for this product, the crew either cuts along three sides and peels it away, or cuts an X and peels it away. It's really up to them. Um, how they do it. On this label, not only tells you what the product is, but tells you how much water to add, how long to wait, and whether it should be cold or hot water. Okay. So, cooking instructions. Yep. Put that up prep, which does. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so you've, out, pillow out. you've put the water in, into right, that. Right, the opposite. water's already there. Okay. So, and they're actually going to be making this product tomorrow in the freeze dryer. Hmm. Mm -hmm. We worked out well. We'll have one of the NASA photographers there to video it for B-roll. Cool. Finally. So, anyway. so that's uh, that's a mix of berries, and how long does that take to hydrate? Uh, doesn't say. Interestingly enough, it berries tend to take a little bit longer, but most of our foods are somewhere between 15, 10 to 20 minutes. Beverages are, are a little bit shorter. Um, make sure your straws. So this is basically similar to a, a juice drink, a juice box, mm -hmm. and then um, when you're ready to drink, because again we're, we're not in microgravity, you do have to squeeze it up and, and, and drink it. Oh, okay. There you go, glad to see it coming. So, and that's made from powder. Okay, so what do we have here again? We have beans. We have baked beans. Yep. Cauliflower with cheese. Mm hmm Barbecue brisket. Yep. And wheat flatbread. Right. And cookies. Okay. So I seem to remember Dave Williams saying the beef brisket. He really liked it. Yes, it is a good one. Let me get you a knife. Let me get you a knife there. So um, now all of these would have to be hydrated, right? No, just the cauliflower with cheese. Okay. The other two were in pouches like this, so they were just heated up in the oven. Oh, okay. And the wheat flat bread, just open up and eat. Okay, so and uh, what kind of oven do they have up there to heat it? Um, looks like that on shuttle. It's basically a, con uh, a conduction oven with a little bit, with a fan running through it, so maybe it could be called a little bit of convection. On International Space Station, it's basically a food warmer. It's a brief. It looks like a suitcase, a small or briefcase. Mm -hmm. And again, it's just heat elements that they put the pouches against, and eventually the heat 